Uh, hello again. Welcome to my first uh, Java Swing uh, tutorial. In this first tutorial, I'm going to show you what uh, JFrame component is. Uh, so, JFrame component is a top level component. Basically, it's a container of all other uh, Swing components. It's a window, simply saying. So let's start from creating a new project and it will be Java project and I'll name my project Swing. No. Okay. Also I'll create a new class and it will be frame. And also I'm going to check for this main method. Okay, I'll delete these unnecessary things and to create any uh, swing uh, component we'll have to import our swing library uh, like this dot swing dot j frame okay uh, here I'm going to make my j frame object I'll say jframe frame equals new jframe and I'll pass title of my frame in uh, constructor of jframe class and title will be jframe demo. Uh, here also I have to call a few methods. Uh, first method will be set default close operation. Default close operation. Uh, set default close operation is a method which defines how our application ends. So it defines what happens when we click on this exit button. And I'm going to say J frame dispose on close. So some uh, of you guys which uh, have some experience in Swing are probably wondering why I am calling uh, dispose on close instead of uh, exit on close. Uh, calling exit on close will end our application violently, uh, leaving no space for Java virtual, Java virtual machine to end all processes. Uh, calling dispose on close will just hide all our components and leave them for our garbage, garbage collector. Uh, next uh, method I'm going to call is set size. It's of course self-explanatory method. Uh, it defines size of our frame in pixels. And I'll say 320 with 240. Uh, last method I'm going to call is set visible, and of course it will make our frame visible. Uh, and as an argument, I'll pass a boolean true value. That should be it. Save it. Let's run it, and here it is, our JFrame with title JFrame demo and with its size of uh, 320 with uh, 240 and of course it's visible. Let's exit and that's it. In next uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to use JPanel and JLabel. Stay tuned.